Hey guys, welcome to the Vanity Mirror. Today is so exciting. I hit my six months on YouTube yesterday. I can't believe it's been six months already and I've been so consistent with it and very proud of myself for that. I just hit 200 subscribers a few days ago, so thank you guys so much. I can't believe I have 200 subscribers. Like, I'm very excited about that and I hope it keeps growing because at 500 subscribers, let me remind you guys again, at 500 subscribers, I am going to do a giveaway. So hit that subscribe button before you leave, right down there in the corner. It's pretty tempting and red. I mean, I know you want to click it and I know you want to be part of that giveaway in a little less than 300 subscribers. So again, please subscribe to my channel so we can get there, guys. So today is going to be a special six month celebration and I'm going to do a and a I already posted about this on social media and I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I didn't get that many hits. I definitely don't want this to be the only one because I didn't get that many questions and I don't know. I think that you guys need to cough up because I will give you a shout out on here. If I use your question, I am gonna put your name on here so I could give you promotion for your YouTube channel or your Instagram page. So be sure and enter a question next time I do a Q&A. If you wanna know the next time I'm doing a Q&A, make sure you subscribe. Why don't we go ahead and get to the Q&A? Since I didn't have that many questions, I also added just, I found a few random questions online, just like fun ones to just add to this for a little bit more of getting to know me. Why don't we just go ahead and get started? Catherine Elizabeth O2, who is on Instagram and YouTube, asks, what inspired you to start doing makeup? Your makeup skills are amazing. Blushing smiley face. Thank you so much, Catherine Elizabeth. Mwah. What inspired me to do start doing makeup? First of all, I've been in love with makeup for a really, really long time. I remember being young and being like really interested in the makeup section and looking at the makeup, but I wasn't allowed to wear makeup until high school and I didn't really know much about it. I didn't really get very much stuff, but I, I always loved it. I got my first Sephora eyeshadow palette when I was, I want to say I was like 19 and it was this like three, I actually have shown it on this channel before but it's like crumbly so I can't even open it. It has like three shadows on uh, that are matte and three shadows that are shimmery and it's supposed to be like smoky eye and like a neutral eye. That was kind of the idea of the palette. That was my first eyeshadow palette ever actually. I used that thing for so long as my eyeshadow and that's what I used and I actually used that palette up until last year when I got married I wore that palette in my wedding <laughs> I just didn't have anything else but I loved it I was absolutely in love with it I did what I could with it I made smoky eyes with it I practiced a little bit with it you know but it's all I had so anyways I was getting into makeup more and more. I got Ipsy for the first time in 2015 in October, so it was about two years ago this month, and I fell in love with like getting the makeup. It was, it, I got more and more excited about it, and then I really started doing makeup because I did my makeup for my wedding, and that's pretty much what t took off from there. I watched a YouTube tutorial to do my own makeup for my wedding and it just like sparked something and I started getting absolutely obsessed. Like I was watching Kathleen Lights, I watched all her videos and then I watched all of Laura Lee's videos and I watched all of Jaclyn Hill videos and like I just started getting totally obsessed and that is what inspired me to start really, really doing makeup. <laughs> that was a long-winded explanation, sorry. <laughs> Anna dot uh, Curit, Curic? Or courage sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong but the name will be up here if you would start all over and open your channel today would you do anything different you know honestly I don't think that I would I'm really happy with the way I've done things on my channel the only thing I could see is maybe like getting studio lighting right away it's still not perfect but it's way better than what I had originally especially in my first couple videos oh my gosh it's way better now so maybe that would be the thing but other than that I feel like I've done a really good job actually of getting things going on my channel and settling into my own style and the way I do things. Maybe just promoting myself a little bit more, like getting more into finding people for subbing along with me and supporting each other earlier on because uh, it definitely has been a big a big deal and I enjoy doing that. I really helps, I love helping support people. Support. <laughs> I definitely really help 
I definitely really love helping to support people, with people supporting me. So, I mean, I guess that. But yeah, I mean, really, I there's not much. I really loved my process, and I think our, all everyone's process of how they get to where they want to be is important. So, yeah. Emily McCauley Makeup said asks, has your life changed since you started YouTube? I would say in a big way, yes, actually. Before YouTube, I feel like school is the only thing that I was ever really, really committed to. Like I, besides like people and my husband and stuff. <laughs> like I'm passionate about a lot of things, but I mean like things that I get into and I stay like working on it. Like something like a project like this. This is kind of how I'm seeing this. Like it's something I love to do and it's a project. There's things like I have a latch hook design that I've been working on for over two years now that's just like sitting in my closet, almost done, but not quite like a and that and I have like tons of like books I've started writing and all these things that I start and I don't finish and that there's not really an ending point to this but I never see myself just deciding like meh I don't want to do this anymore I really really love doing YouTube and so I think that is in one way it's made me a lot more like like driven to do something and to like like keep going with it. Obviously I did that with school because I got I got a master's degree so I like that like I said that was the only other time I feel like I've been that driven about something I was trying to do and so in a way that and also it's given me something like really structured to do with my evenings. Once I had didn't have homework anymore because I was out of school my evenings became very like lazy and just watching TV shows and Netflix and not doing a whole lot so doing YouTube really gave me something to get really passionate about again in my evenings and I actually have really loved that. I've stayed on schedule. I have never strayed from my schedule other than adding extra videos to my Tuesdays and Saturdays. Like that's so cool to me. So in a way that really has changed my life. It's changed my perspective. It's made me a big dreamer again and I really love it. So in a way, yeah, it has changed my life. <laughs> Kristen.au Dot model asks what is your favorite makeup brand that's so hard because there's so many out there you know um, and I almost feel like I have like favorite types of makeup like like this is my favorite blush and this is my favorite bronzer and this is my you know my favorite mascara but like picking one brand is so hard well, I will say this, that my favorite kind of makeup is eyeshadow. Like, period, eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow. I love playing with eyeshadow. And my favorite eyeshadow that I've played with is Urban Decay, probably. Like, I love the Naked palettes, and I got my first Naked palette right after I got married. And it kind of really just took off from there. So I have a ton of palettes now. So I guess, like, Urban Decay, because eyeshadow is my favorite type of makeup. Um, my favorite drugstore makeup brand, because I think that's important, because... There's really good ones out there. That would probably be NYX because I love their lip products so much. Their, their lip products are amazing. So yeah, so NYX and Urban Decay. <laughs> okay, girl, I have never known how to exactly read this, but Tox Labas MUA? Tox Labas MUA, we'll just say that. She asks, why did you start your YouTube channel? So you know how I told you that I really hugely got into makeup? right after my wedding because I did my makeup for my wedding. Well then I, like I said, I was watching a lot of YouTubers like all the way through and I was becoming really interested in it. And I knew that I was always kind of a ham. I love being in front of the camera. I love taking videos and pictures and but I just always loved that stuff. And I thought I really have this personality that I feel like could do something. And I always kind of wanted a YouTube channel, but. I never really knew what to do with it. I've always played around with that idea. And when I started getting into makeup and watching these people, I was like, one day just kind of clicked, like last, like in March of this year, it kind of clicked. I was like, I should start a YouTube channel. And I told my husband this and I was like, I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to do makeup on camera and put it on YouTube. And like, I really feel like that's something I want to do. And I told him something along the lines of, I meant for something more, which is, what my sign here says kind of like my mantra now I'm meant for something more and I just like I told him I really feel like I'm meant for something more like I feel like there's something out there for me that's big you know and this just like felt like I was something felt so right about it like I was going in the right direction so I started my YouTube channel and I hit the ground running with it and like I said I have not strayed from my schedule I've stayed really good really good about keeping on my filming and my editing schedule and I just like 
full force full force well you guys i told you i didn't have that many questions so that's it if you guys see this and a lot of people want to ask me more questions i am happy to make another q a video soon like maybe next month or something uh let me know in the comments down below if you think i want if you want me to do another one and again like i said i'll give you a shout out if you ask me a question to go in the video i told you that i found a few random questions online that i thought would be just fun ones they're not really makeup related they're just fun to answer on here just to kind of top off the video so why don't we go ahead and do that favorite tv show as a child i think wizards of waverly place is the best one of the best shows i've ever seen like for young teens um i love that show but as a child probably doug or hey arnold i, I remember watching those quite a lot so yeah probably doug or hey arnold have you read Harry Potter, Twilight, or The Hunger Games? I have read every single Harry Potter, like, four times. I have read every single Twilight book three times. And I've read the first and second Hunger Games books, but not the third one. By the way, Harry Potter is my favorite ever. I've also read the first two in German and seen all the movies. I don't even want to explain how many times I've seen those movies. I've seen them way many more times than this, but I've had three Harry Potter marathons where I watched one through eight in a weekend um but that is not how many times i've seen the movies i've seen them way more way more than that i've seen yeah i love harry potter a lot and more than twilight and hunger games like by far but i grew up with harry potter the first twilight movie came out when i was a junior in high school what would your parents have named you if you were a boy uh i actually know that answer because they came up with a name in case i was a boy because they didn't want to know if i was a girl or a boy they were going to name me sean michael Ellie or Shawn Michael? <laughs> What's the last compliment you got? So my husband compliments me all the time, so I don't know, because um, he's amazing. <laughs> I don't remember if he's complimenting me tonight. He's really sick, so he hasn't been talking much. But I know that at work today, um, someone did say, I love how passionate you are. I think that was kind of a compliment. They were letting me know like they like how passionate I am. And it's true, I'm a very passionate person. <laughs> do you sing in the car? Oh, yes I do. So I have anxiety when I drive. Um, pretty much everything makes me anxious when I drive <laughs> like driving past a person makes me anxious like driving past another car So I sing in the car because it's basically deep breathing and for any of you who are kind of in Mental health or at least know about that stuff. Um, deep breathing is a really powerful relaxation technique so singing is actually doing the same thing you do when you deep breathe which is taking in a lot of air deep into your lungs and slowly releasing it so singing helps me relax in the car plus I love singing so yes I do sing in the car do you believe in ghosts I absolutely do believe in ghosts and I know a lot of people don't but I do um, and that is because of a lot of different things that have happened to me in my life that lead me to believe so. Um, I don't care if you don't believe in ghosts, that is your prerogative and in my experience that's people who have never experienced anything. <laughs> so whatever, <laughs> that's your life. But I do believe in ghosts and um, I actually was thinking about doing a let me tell you someday explaining all of, like, or at least a bunch of my ghost stories because I have a lot that I've been through. So if you guys want that video where I just tell you a bunch of ghost stories, let me know by leaving a comment down below and liking this one. And just like this one because I want you to like this one and I know you like it. Can you curl your tongue? And, eh, eh. And the last concert you saw. When I found this one online, I was like, oh yeah. The last concert I saw was two days ago, and that was Hansen. Hansen, um, hang on, kombucha. Hansen, I've mentioned it on this channel before, is my favorite band. Yes, the guys who sang Mbop, but that was 20 years ago. You really need to look them up now. Just saying. It was my 10th Hansen concert. It was incredible. It was celebrating their 25 years as a band, but it was not an anniversary tour. They go on tour every couple years to even every year. I've never gone to more than two years without a Hanson concert, except for once, which was at the very beginning. Like I saw them in 98 and I didn't see them again until 2001. But since then I've seen them at least every two years. So yes, they still release albums and yes, they go on tour. And their music is really awesome. It's like 50s, 60s rock and roll, kind of a twist with just like their own little flair they're just that they're just who they are it's really hard to explain but i love them you should definitely check them out yeah and i saw them two nights ago and i got to meet them i'll put pictures here for you
All right, you guys, well, that was all the questions that I found, and those were all the questions that people asked me. Like I said, if you want me to do another Q&A video and all of a sudden you have a bunch more questions for me, please leave them down below. Let me know that you want another Q&A video, and I will definitely do that for you guys. And also, let me know if you want me to do a ghost story, let me tell you, because I do have a lot of them. And whether you believe in ghosts or not, they could still be fun stories to hear. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for coming and watching my sixth month anniversary special Q&A video. Please subscribe by hitting the tempting red button right there down below my video and I will see you later. And like a not like a my favorite makeup brand brand talk slub boss mute as an actual child.